Welcome to the Life is Strange series. I've always wanted to play Life is Strange since it came out. I never got around to it, so like I've watched a couple different series on Life is Strange, but it was so long ago that I don't remember the game. So <laughs> we're gonna play through it. This is the remastered version, so enhanced visuals and vastly improved animation, which is the remastered version. So we're gonna start with episode <laughs> episode one. How many episodes are there? There's five. We'll see if we can get through fully episode one, but I doubt it. Uh, but let's go. Efficient is a story based on the game. Features player choices. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Obviously, use WASD to move. I'm muted because I will be muting on cutscenes, so my mic doesn't pick up anything like if I'm typing or something to someone. We're moving up to this lighthouse. I do remember the lighthouse, sort of. And the storm, obviously. The storm that wrecks Arcadia Bay. Or is supposed to? Well, obviously, you, you use your mouse to look around. How would I? How would I move? What is this? What is that? Blackwell Academy. Oh yeah, the school. You would think they would call it Arcadia Academy. Oh yeah, her name's Matt. Holy shit. Famously called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography as he liked um. was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw human Why is it tortured, that right? I can't and frankly, drag my mouse to it? Shh, shh, shh. Oh, left mouse button and drag no. towards Seriously, look. Though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. And look oh. at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. This is photo capture you in a moment of desperation and anyone aim at the camera hole I've lost him back towards the my own to prove I'm still here plus it's perfect for my portfolio what if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition and Max has a gift of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, 
I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <laughs> I did know, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> you either know this or not, Max. Aye. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. <laughs> Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. <laughs> guys, I was going to look at the journal, but I do photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max. I see you pretending not to see me. Sees me pretending not to see him. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive. I should oh, use it. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Oh, dang! That thing is, <laughs> that thing is like six grand! What? I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. <laughs> I had my moment in the camera eye, and everybody oh, can't totally. have I only want to share whatever gifts I Rachel and Amber. Oh yeah, those are two of the like, characters, huh? Marco I. What's that? Take optional photo number one in episode one. I'm crying. It was an optional photo and I took it anyway. What's this? Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That's nice. Uh printer. The printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. Right. When I don't suck. Someday. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, TV. Poster. More pictures. This is Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Arcadia Bay is a mysterious uh place. Let's just say that. You There's a lighthouse. Escape the lighthouse here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave though. I don't even want to talk to no. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'm crying. I have to talk to him. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. Can I leave now? This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. 
Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. I'm crying. That's funny. Alright. Let's get out of this classroom. I was about to. Welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Jerry. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Editor note here, Yellow's mic will be muted for a couple minutes because Twitch muted the VOD due to some copyright music that was in the game at the time. So Yellow won't be talking for a couple minutes, but it'll be back sooner or later, like like three or four minutes. So just wanted to let you guys know. And yeah, enjoy. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Seriously. Leave me alone. You're not the boss of me, bro. Not the boss, bro. No, I, I mean, I'm... It looks like she's been gone for months. It's time to go to class. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Why are you in the female bathroom, though? You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh. Hey, he shot her. That's for one time. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom, 
he shot that poor girl. I held up my hand, and then I was back here. Yeah, she likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow, from color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Oh, now, shit! Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer who cannot believe who this? Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, or the mouse, I might as well the go right away. mouse button to rewind. Can I actually reverse time? We're just trying to reverse time enough to before we broke the camera and. I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. A human time machine. Max, don't freak out. Not yet. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Hmm. It's a lot. Oh, I got a lot of things to do. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Keep because it together, of Max. Of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad. When I took my selfie, right? Jefferson asked me a she question. Is tortured, right? If he does again, frankly, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. <clears throat> yes, you can. Expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I the point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh. Uh. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. I don't want to talk more. Oh, shit. Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? people's faces. Right here? Max, oh. since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join, I forgot you can't run can that. Please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits. Yeah, yeah, the Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly Why is she looking at me? Subjects clear to find features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be <laughs> feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to it's be an everyday to be hero. Everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Correct. Exactly. 
Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making plans. <clears throat> go on now. Don't let me stop you. You're not going to stop me. <laughs> I got to go. Press control. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Okay, Make sure okay. you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Don't worry, I have to, uh, I have to speed on up out of here, so I'll, I'll get you that photo. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out this classroom. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. To get to the bathroom. Yeah. Please, please, I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. All the things that I read on the way here, and what's that? The vortex. Uh, I'll look at that after. Uh. To the bathroom. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly, butterfly flew, flew in. in. And I took, took a, a picture of it. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. I'm so. I need a hammer to break it open. To control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh Holy shit! I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Punk ass, would they? <laughs> No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's go! We saved her. Another shitty day. I know I said don't ever, you know. This cannot be real. I know I never I said don't ever pull a fire alarm while you're in school, but <laughs> I kinda had to. He had a gun. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hurry up out of here. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. Hey. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. I think there was something wrong with the security guard. I don't fully remember. Let's go talk to the principal. Principal Wells. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard <coughs> it. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. Causing conflict? I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. 
please? Bruh. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. No. Yes, I could rewind Can't. and actually tell him the truth. Oh. I was like, can I go outside? Blackwell Academy. The high school in Arcadia Bay. I think it's Arcadia Bay. I'm pretty sure it's Arcadia Bay. Oh my god, the amount of missing persons posters on the ground. Miss Grant is the other oh, teacher. Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Excuse you? Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. They can have cameras. Hmm. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless our soul. But this petition isn't about her. Hmm. I mean, high schools have a noble heritage, cameras. From the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. <coughs> Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? You're all Absolutely. signed up. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good Why do I hear a drone? I saw a drone too. This action will have consequences. I saw that drone. Where did it go? Main building, athletic field is that way. Oh, we ain't athletic, so we ain't doing that. We ain't going to no athletic field. Has been so <laughs> we, we ain't athletic at all. And none of it makes any sense. Vision. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. Well, don't worry, Max. You were rewind time, all right. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. 